A U.S. research team will conduct a long-term study on the impact of radiation exposure on wild animals and plants around the Fukushima facility. The team from the University of South Carolina, led by Professor Timothy Musso, will begin the study in Fukushima and other areas of Japan in May. The team has been studying the impact of radioactive fallout from the Chernobyl nuclear accident on wildlife around the plant for more than 13 years. Its study shows a decrease in the number of birds and insects, as well as abnormalities in animals, even in areas with low radiation levels of 1 to 3 microsieverts per hour. The team says long-term research is likely to shed light on the impact of low-level radiation from the Fukushima accident on wildlife and that it hopes to cooperate with Japanese researchers. By looking at these organisms that have much shorter lifespans, we can actually look at what might happen to human populations 100, 200, 300 years later. Professor Musso will visit Fukushima later this month to prepare for the study. The Japanese government has set July as the cutoff period for accepting applications for compensation for unrecognized sufferers of Minamata disease. But groups supporting Minamata sufferers who are not recognized as being afflicted with the disease are critical of the deadline. The government is required by law to identify all patients who do not meet the criteria to be recognized as being sufferers of the disease. They will be entitled to receive compensation by April 2013. We concluded that making people aware of the deadline over the next half year will be more beneficial to the patients than to extend the deadline. However, several groups are calling for the cancellation of the deadline. While a lot of patients suffering from Minamata disease are still prepared to apply for compensation, we are opposed to a deadline and will never accept it. About 50,000 people in Kumamoto, Kagoshima and Niigata prefectures have already filed applications with hundreds more still applying each month. Nuclear inspectors from the International Atomic Energy Agency have been refused access to an Iranian military facility. The IAEA suspects that experiments related to nuclear weapons development were carried out there. Diplomatic sources told NHK that Iran refused the IAEA team's request to inspect the facility near Tehran during its three-day visit this week. The team is seeking to verify its suspicion that Iran's nuclear program may have military aspects. The negotiations between the two sides were conducted behind closed doors and no details have yet been revealed. The IAEA is planning again to send its team to Iran starting from February 21st. 
Iran's refusal of inspection is likely to further intensify worldwide criticism as the United States and European countries are ramping up sanctions over Iran's nuclear program. The International Monetary Fund says it's sending a mission to Japan next week to discuss near-term risks for the country's economy. Japan has been plagued by its huge public debt and a rapidly appreciating currency. The IMF announced that its team will arrive in Japan on Monday for an eight-day visit. In a statement, IMF Asian Pacific Department Director Anup Singh said his organization planned to discuss with the Japanese side ways to mitigate near-term risks for the economy. Topics to be brought up include the economic crisis in Europe and volatile currency markets, where Japan's yen has appreciated significantly. Also on the agenda are measures to fight deflation and boost growth through monetary policy and structural reform. The two sides will also exchange views on medium-term challenges, such as how to restore Japan's fiscal health.